was about 15 when my friend asked me to go to watch Arsenal. We went to this game and we were on North Bank. I think it was Spartak Moscow. The atmosphere was electric. And then we started losing. We lost 5-1. It had an impression on me in the sense that no one treated me differently. It was being part of something. You're just in this different world. What's she doing, Ed? Number two. She is? Yeah. Good. Done a Man United. The best game you've ever been to? Istanbul. <laughs> Istanbul. And what did you do when you rang me up at half time? <laughs> Nearly cried. <laughs> Go on, Urza, for once in your life. He's cracked. I mean, where's the leader? Where's. Hold up. Shoot! If they score a second, we're dead and buried. You! Bloody useless! Oh well. I'm glad I couldn't see. Because if I see it, would be even more painful. Has to be some perk to being blind. Turn it off. Well, turn it off. I don't want to hear anymore. We don't have a leader, and we don't have a fire. The days of Vieira. Oh, how we live for past memories. Winning the league at Tottenham, that was one of the last things I remember seeing. I remember I could see, still see uh, the colours of the shirts with the binocular and the players. It is a complete difference seeing a little bit and going and watching the Arsenal to when I couldn't see the game and I just had to rely on the crowd and the commentary. I remember saying to myself, there's no point to this anymore, I've, I'm not getting enough from this. It was like your worst nightmare, the depth of uh, despair. But I then remembered that my mum would say, you've got to get, pick yourself up and make the best of it. i got a choice. I either stay in this doom and gloom or I actually learn to adapt and I learn to do things differently and that's what I started to do. Build a picture up. You sense your space. You sense the, you know, if it's raining, if it's windy, if it's cold. There's a different feel to the place. Close your eyes and just listen. I think that sighted people miss lots more because they see it, but they don't take it in. They just glimpse it. People can't understand why would you want to go to football? You can't see. It. Golden goal now, Panago 12 numbers left. 
Wayne, when was the last time you were here? About 12 years ago. You know, you get to know people. It was like a family. That's packed to it used to be. You need a bulldozer to get to the bar. I don't suppose it, um, what's her name? Peggy. Peggy she's in not, the shop. She's still with her? Yes. Still alive? Yes. Blimey. She's part of the furniture. Well, I think we all are part, part of the furniture, one way or another. God bless you, mate. You're welcome. I'm going to go and see Peggy. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guy. Yeah, on, mate. Hello? Not bad. Where's that Peggy? She's in the kitchen. Do you want to yes, please. Sweetheart, what are you doing? That's a muscle. You're going to get married. Did you? Did you marry a blind girl as well? Yeah, yeah, Liverpool. I mean, I'm totally blind now. But I think I was when I saw you last time. Yeah, you could make, but you're still doing it. You're still getting about. Oh, just been up. More power to your elbow, mate. And how are you? Yeah, getting older. I'm 79 now, sweetheart. And you're still doing this? Yeah. 37 years I've been doing this. Hey, nice to see you, Dad. And so, uh, yeah, no, so um, I, I was like, I was, I was shocked that you're still here. <laughs> You've got to hang in there. Alexa, how many times have Tottenham won the Premier League? That's what I thought. Alexa. What time do Arsenal kick off tonight? Arsenal play Valencia tonight at 8pm in the Europa League semi-final at the Mestana Stadium in Spain. So you're bearing around after the traffic lights, you're bearing around to the, to, to the left. Yeah. And then around to the right and under the railway bridge. Yeah. And then you'll go left and it bears around and then comes to the Kingston Road. Uh -huh. He doesn't need a sat nav, he's got me. <laughs> You can't hear your supporters, can you? Well, we don't hear them at home, so you don't expect to hear them your way. Oi, 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 pack it in. Oh, shh. Don't swear in front of her because she's not... She's little. She's little. She's too little. Oh dear, oh dear. Mm. Let's go for a seat back. Relief, the birds are singing. I get nervous. You know what the worry is for this second half? If they come out and score, then they've only got to get one more to make it to extra time, and then anything can happen. And that silly twat on the radio saying, could go to penalties. Only one goal. No. Oh, here we go. There you are. Unbelievable. There you are. Yeah! That's it. We're going to Ajibaram. Hey, I can't We're even say it. We're going to Ajibaram. How to get to Baku, Azerbaijan. Four days, 12 hours. Four days and 12 hours. If you'd like to walk, 33 days, <laughs> five hours. There you go. 33 days? Yeah. I ain't got time to walk it then, have I? What are you waiting for? You have to run. I bought a new shirt. I haven't properly looked at it myself. Ah, <laughs> oh, sir, no. Ah, oh, sir, no. We're going to win the cup. 
We're gonna win the cup. We're gonna win the cup. You agree? Maybe. Let's go. Chelsea. Chelsea who's Chelsea. Faith men. Have faith. I'm really, really excited. Can't believe that I'm going to Azerbaijan to watch the Arsenal. I don't mind losing if they bother to turn up. If I can get off my backside and go 2,000 miles, they better. Otherwise, they're after something to answer for. And the Arsenal better win. Hey, it's got to be serious. What sensible human being would spend 60 quid on a ticket? Why'd you bother? Why do I bother? Because they need me. I need them, they need me. Are you nervous about Baku and the commentary situation? They said there will be a commentary, which is good, but they've said it's like a frequency. So I really want to clarify how that's going to work and what if I turn up and it doesn't work because my wife went to the Champions League last year and she took a radio and couldn't get it. There's no point in going all that way and I can't get a commentary. Go to camera, take a couple of I want to be there and it's going to be a great experience but let's be honest, it is a big thing to do. The whole logistics, I mean, I read something the other day how it's not, not that accessible, how there's no pavements to the stadium and the game kicks off at 11 o'clock at night. It is what it is. All in all, I'm really, really anxious about this. There is police everywhere. What, what are the police dressed in? I don't know. Yeah. Have they got crash helmets? They're wearing blue, quite formal blue suit, and they all, most of them carry a baton and a gun. <laughs> and a gun? Yeah, and a gun. Can I get a picture of you, mate? Yeah? Yeah, can you tell me a picture of Spike? Yeah, I think it's very bad. Where's the ball? It's miles away. Yeah. I just want to look at it. Am I looking at it? Near a bubble. I've had described to me, but I can definitely hear it just there. Don't panic about this, all right? I'm not going to panic, man. Don't worry. Right. So, walk up. Yep. You'll be get first. But don't be showing me the boat when we get to okay. there. Oh, actually. Yeah. I've been. You're in? Yep. Yeah. There you go. No problem. It's a bit cold. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a little bit cold. Arsenal! Oh. Arsenal! <laughs> Arsenal! Oh Arsenal! 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 We're the only team in London with a European Cup! Uh, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> oh Some people go, well, why would you travel? Well, why wouldn't I? I mean, of course I want to say I've got the T-shirt and I've been there but it's that, that thing of being somewhere and you pick up on other senses, so fulfilling yourself with, with that place. Cobbles coming up, mm -hmm. but you feel them going about a metre this time. You can hear the music and I can hear the birds. It's a nice breeze, it's nice and pleasant. Let's be having you, the Arsenal! Arsenal, Arsenal! Do you want me to sit on the edge? Nah, I think we're all right, Wayne. You sure? Yeah. No, Wayne. Wayne Busbridge commented, I agree with everything you said. I'm enjoying the city. I think I'm the only blind Arsenal fan who has managed to make the effort to come. Yesterday at 17, Andrew M replied, way to go, Wayne. Three exclamation marks. Lots of Arsenal fans out on the street. Fans that are, you know, from around the world. Yeah. Here supporting Arsenal. I've had people from South Africa, India, Pakistan, Dubai. What we need to do is 
and getting more nervous as the day goes on. To come all this way, it doesn't bear thinking about losing, does it? Totally pissed off. This is UEFA all over again. We got a taxi, and then the, the taxi got near the stadium. They told the driver that he had to keep going. They blocked off for the north side. This so-called drop-off point's not there. Then we got stopped on the highway, and now they want me to walk for like half a mile or two miles, and it's no pavements. It's a fucking disgrace. Couldn't care a shit. It shouldn't be made this difficult. Uh, why have they blocked it all off and, you know, made a mess of it? It's communication and... Uh... Like, I mean, these VIPs are just, you know, they're getting the, the high, the treatment. Yeah. I'm, yeah. V I'm VIP. Yeah. I'm visually impaired. <laughs> OK, we're going this way, though. Oh, don't worry. It's, it dips down a bit. Yeah. So a bit right. rough in area. All right. It's just like here, it goes up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, step up. Yeah. And then there's a gap. If you can step over that gap, just take our time. Is he filming this? Because it's fucking stupid. Yeah, it is stupid. They knew it was expensive to get to. They knew it was difficult to get to. They don't care about fans. They don't care about anything than TV and money. on the edge of his own D, sent 20 yards left to Monreal, and we move it up the Arsenal left. Last 10 minutes, we're starting to get sloppy. Abamaram's not in the game. What, what, what do you think we need to change? I mean, I don't think our strikers are really going to the game. Oh, the old description's excellent. It's the only one thing that's worked well. Spreads it to Emerson, left channel, 30 yards out, cross towards the penalty spot, Giroud's diving header. Oh. Chelsea 1, oh. Arsenal 0, and who else but the former gunner? Kovacic around the corner to Hazard, left side of the Arsenal box, plays the crossing low for Pedro to strike it, and it's 2-0 to Chelsea. Arsenal's night going from bad to worse. Get a new manager. Penalty. Will be Eden Hazard to take it, right foot, and he strokes it past Belichick. That's fucked it. It should have been a free kick. It should have been a free kick. We got done, and then we got that, but that's it. The game's over. If you want to put it away, I can't listen to any more. Jacka's free kick is a good one. Drops to a worthy. He strikes on the up into the top corner. What a hit from Alex Iwobi. Our Arsenal heading back into this one. 3-1. Hazard striding forward. He's got Giroud with him. He slips him in. Left side of the box. He thinks it into the middle. Hazard's continued his run and finishes beautifully. Fantastic counter by Chelsea. Hazard buries it first time left footed. It's Chelsea 4, Arsenal 1. Fucking hell, I could do better than this shit. Come here, mate. Come here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What a fucking waste of place, Ozil. Fucking yeah. did nothing. Arsenal have travelled nearly 3,000 miles here to Baku and will return empty-handed. I turned up and the team didn't. But that's what really annoys me. I mean, 
listening onto a radio at home doesn't do it but there's that connection you meet people it's something you can share good or bad you have them special moments it's something that lives with you forever that my team I've got a choice I could stay indoors and do nothing or I can get out and live life take control of the game and keep control. Uh, fucking same old Arsenal. Keep showing something! <laughs> <laughs>